Hello and welcome everyone to this year's LEAD Conference. We're going to start today's workshop with an activity. If we will ask you some questions, and if that question applies to you, stand up and yell, that's me. We're going to do a practice one so you guys can kind of get the idea. If you are a junior, stand up and yell, that's me. That's me. If this is your first LEAD Conference, stand up and yell, that's me. That's me. If you are an OSU fan, stand up and yell, that's me. That's me. If you're a fan of the highly superior OU, stand up and yell, that's me. That's me. Have you ever competed in a star event before? Stand up and yell, that's me. That's me. And if you're excited to be here today, stand up and yell, that's me. That's me. Now that we know a little bit more about our audience, we are so excited to welcome you to our workshop, Sowing the Seeds of a Successful Star Event. My name is Kinsley Camp, I'm from Broken Bow High School, and I'm proudly serving as the state president. Hey guys, my name is Ashlyn Goad, I'm from OK High School, and I am so proud to be serving as your state vice president of Star Events. Both of us have taken part in Star Events, and we know that sometimes Star Events can be overwhelming, and you might not know where to begin. During our session, we are going to talk about what Star Events are, how to prepare for it, how to get involved, and what to expect during a competition. So first we're going to explain what STAR events are. So the name STAR events is actually an acronym. It stands for Students Taking Action with Recognition. STAR events are actually just one kind of competitive event that FCCLA has to offer. They're competitive events in which students compete at the district, region, state, and national level and are recognized for their chapter and individual projects, leadership skills, and career readiness. There are three different age levels of STAR event competition. Level 1 is for members that are in 8th grade and below. Level 2 is for members in 9th and 10th grade. And level 3 is for members in 11th grade and up. There are over 30 different kinds of star events with a wide range of subject matters. Anywhere from culinary arts to fashion design to even entrepreneurship. Another important thing to note is that some star events don't advance to the national competition. These are Oklahoma only events. Events such as children's literature, cake decorating, and creed speaking and interpretation are just a few events that don't advance to the national competition. So while you're researching which star events you'd be interested in, make sure to find out whether they compete at the national level or if they're Oklahoma only events. So we understand that because there are so many different kinds of star events, it can be hard to figure out which one's best for you. We can help with that though. That's right, and we can do this by taking a star event assessment. This is a super short quiz, but by the end of it, you will have an idea of which star event you should consider competing in. There is a QR code on the screen. All you have to do is scan it with the camera on your phone. Make sure to pause this video so you guys have enough time to take the test, and you guys can get, ready whenever you, you guys can get started whenever you're ready. All right, welcome back, guys. We hope that you now have a better idea of which star event you should consider competing in. So next, we're going to talk about how to get involved. So if you're interested in star events and you think that competing would be fun, the first step is talk to your advisor. Your advisor will have tons of resources to help you, like a more in-depth list of star events and access to rubrics for each competition. And once you've talked to your advisor about getting involved, the next step is to find a star event that interests you. You can do this by taking the assessment we all just took or by looking on the national website. The national website will have a complete list of all of the star events and a short description about each one. There are all kinds of different star events, and you will definitely find one that fits your interest. Once you pick which star event is right for you, you have to study your rubric. The rubric is the key to star events because it has all the requirements and regulations that your event has to follow, like how long your speech has to be, the measurements of your board, how many pages your portfolio has to have, and so much more. Again, your advisor will have these resources available for you. All you have to do is ask. So now we're going to do an activity called count off and uh, once I explain the instructions I want you guys to pause the video and do this activity in your classroom in a group of in multiple groups if you have to of no more than 15. Okay so let's get into the rules. So rule, the first rule the group has to count from 1 to 20 but only one person can say a number at a time. If two people speak at the same time the group has to start back at 1. Each person in the group has to say at least one number, but you can't say more than two numbers in a row, or more, excuse me, more than three numbers in a row. 
you can't create a pattern or go in a circle or prompt someone to say the next number. So can't have any kind of pattern or system or anything to say the next number. And so now we're going to demonstrate this activity. All right, guys, you understand the rules? Mm -hmm. Yes. Stand, okay. stand right here. All right. You ready? Yes. OK. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Ah, okay. One, two, two. Oh. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> one, two, three, five, six. Did you skip four? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen seven. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. Good job. All right. Thank you guys. As you can see, that workshop, that activity may take a little bit of time, and it, just depending on your class size, you can take however long it takes to get you guys to twenty. Are you going to debrief? Oh, sorry, excuse me. So uh, after the activity, we want you guys to think about a few questions. Like, what was hard about this activity? Or uh, were you scared about messing up, like going next and messing up? And what can we learn from this activity about, give, or about never giving up and trying again? All right, so now we're going to talk about some tips for competition before, during, and after the competition. So before the competition, when you first start your project, you want to make yourself a timeline because it's easy to lose track of time during star event season and a timeline will help you stay on track. Be as detailed as possible while writing your speech while still staying within a, the amount of time allowed for your event. The more detailed your speech is, the better. While you're writing your speech, make sure to include the fact standards and national program that your project relates to. Time your speech. You want to make sure that your speech is short enough that it fits within the time limit, but long enough that you give relevant and detailed information. A good time limit to aim for if your speech is 10 minutes is 7 to 9 minutes, and if your speech is 5 minutes, a good time to aim for is 3 to 4 minutes. Memorize the first line of your speech. While it is a good idea to memorize your whole speech, if you can't do that, memorize the first line. That way your speech will open up strongly. Make a board or portfolio. If your star event allows you to make a visual aid, make one. That visual aid will be helpful to you and it will make your presentation look even better. Use a flash drive. Don't rely on online things like Google Docs or Google Sides because you can never be 100% sure that your Wi-Fi access will work or that you'll even have access to Wi-Fi at all. Make sure you have everything the night before the competition. This means your board, your portfolio, your official dress, if you're taking note cards for your speech. And make a list of everything that you need or you might need and go over it a couple of times the night before the star event competition. That way you make sure you have everything. Get plenty of rest. You can never do your best when you're, if you're not well rested. Set an alarm. If you have to set multiple alarms for yourself to wake up on time, do that. But make sure you set an alarm so that you can get to wherever you're meeting on time. And lastly, get there early. You don't want to be late to a competition because that's not very professional. If your competition starts at 9.30, be there at 9. So now we're going to cover some tips for during competition. So use your board during your presentation. Uh, make sure to gesture to it during the, like the parts of your speech that relate to the board. Make sure to gesture to them when you get there. And make eye contact with your judges. Uh, in the room, there'll be two to three judges, and they will be looking for eye contact. Immediately after you finish your speech, say, thank you for your time. Do you have any questions? There will be a part at the end of your speech where the judges ask you questions. Sometimes they'll be generic type questions like, why did you choose this project? And sometimes they'll be specific to your project. And if you don't get any questions, don't worry. That just means you already covered everything. And when you're saying your speech, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly so the judges can understand you. And don't fidget. When you're, pre when you're presenting your project, make sure to stay 
stay, stay, stand straight with your arms at your sides or holding your note cards. If you fidget, it makes you look distracted and uh, unconfident in your presentation. Now we have tips for after competition. Look for improvement. So if you advance to the next level of competition, take the score sheet that you get once you get it back and apply everything the judges said to your presentation so it's even better the next time you compete. Relax. After you get out of your competition, just take a deep breath, calm down, it's over. All you have to do is wait for the award ceremony. And be gracious whether you win or lose when they're presenting awards. And as I said earlier, use your score sheet. That is very important uh, because it's what the, the judges will be looking for the next time you compete. And continue to practice. Don't just forget about your project until the next, like, the next level of competition, like regionals or whatever. Just continue to practice your speech, continue to practice your presentation until you get it right. That's the end of our presentation. We commend you on coming to this conference. We also want to thank the state officers that helped us with the count off game. But we hope that you developed a lot, of new, a lot of new information about star event competition that you can use in your future star event. If you have any questions for Ashlyn or I, our contact information is on the screen. Please feel free to reach out to us, message us on Instagram or email us. We are always open and ready for questions. And we hope that you have a great rest of your conference.